So now that we have the Apollo Miner from Futurebit, we'll go ahead and we'll configure it. So what we need to get started to make sure that we have a micro SD card. I went with the SanDisk 16 gigabyte Ultra Plus micro SD card, got it at Target for about seven bucks. And you gotta make sure that you have an adapter so you can connect it to your laptop unless you have some sort of micro SD capable laptop. So we'll go ahead and we'll follow their information for configuration. They recommend going to their BitTalk, Bitcoin Talk thread where they have the most recent image file that we can go ahead and download. And they also recommend you use a program called Etcher is what you can use to um, burn the SD card with the bootable image. So you can go to Etcher's website by Balena, and it's very straightforward, it's freeware. So we go ahead and download that, and make sure you install that on your machine. And as you can see, I've already downloaded it, and I've also got the image file from Apollo, so we'll go ahead and burn it. We'll go ahead and we put the SD card into this adapter. Put the adapter into whatever port you have on my laptop. I happen to have an SD port over here. And once that's in, we'll go ahead and mount it and burn it. Anticlimactic, I know, but that's the SD card, micro SD card, in the standard size SD card in the SD card slot. So now we'll go ahead and launch that software. So this is Etcher. As you can see, it's launched ever so accordingly. It wants us to select the image. So I have the image file back here. So I'm going to take that from the extracted and I'm going to go ahead and burn that. I have it out here on the desktop, so we'll go ahead and pick it. There she is. Go ahead and say open. It already knows that I have the SD drive in there. It says it's a 16 gig card. It will not be that after you burn it, so uh, good luck. Stay focused and flash. Oh, look, pretty ads. How exciting. So you go ahead and burn that. It says it's going to be a 2.28 gigabyte image. Once it's done, go ahead and we'll pop this into our Apollo and we'll see if it boots up. And then we let it validate. Ooh. Validating for days. Or seconds. Probably more seconds. Oh, don't be an error. Oh, that's good. I like when it's not an error. Cool. All right, so now that it's done, We'll go ahead and unmount that, pull that card out, and we'll go and put it inside of our Apollo. That came out of there, and that came out of there. So then there it is, all burned. Let's go ahead and put this in the Apollo now. All right, so here's our future bit Apollo miner. Here's our SD card. Go ahead and turn it over. You'll see we have our SD card slot right here. So go ahead and pop that in there. Gives you a nice rewarding click once it's in. And there you have it. That's how you put that in there. So next, next clip, we're going to show powering it up, plugging it in. So that's how you burn the SD card for the Futurebit Apollo.